I got my LMP gear mug. This stuff actually keeps your drinks either hot or cold for freaking so long. We got the wife's third gen here. I really am like so impressed at how clean of a truck she was able to get for the money. And yeah, it needs a tow mirror. Seat's got a little rip, needs vacuumed again. But man, this thing is freaking nice. It's all relevant, but like for what she paid for this truck, it was a pretty freaking good deal. I'll just say that. Every time, it starts up so nice also. We're gonna head on out to the shop. We're gonna get to swapping out some wheels and tires on my wife's truck. So there's the wife's truck and there's her horse trailer she picked up. She's trying to debate what she wants to do with it because in her mind, she originally thought that maybe it'd be a great idea to get a horse trailer with a sleep with a living quarters in it, but literally half the trailer is just the living quarters, which is normal for this specific type of trailer, what it's for, but it's just a lot of trailer for her to pull around without having pulled around a trailer that long before. And she's debating just getting it all polished up because that aluminum all down the side, it, it actually is just real dusty and like grimy, but we polished up a small spot on the other side and it actually looks really freaking nice all cleaned up. So we're thinking about getting just polishing the whole thing clean. And then she might actually just put it for sale since she got such a good deal on it. She'd probably actually be able to sell the thing and make several thousand dollars on it because the lady that sold it she never cleaned it she didn't really take any good photos of it she pretty much just said hey i need it gone today and she offered almost three grand less than her asking on it which was already reasonable she's like i'll pay what she's asking but i might as well ask for less just to see and she's like i'll take it and everything works on it other than one water line so other than that i mean it it's probably worth a decent amount to the right person completely forgot to turn the lights off here on the on the nasty red here which by the way you can actually enter to win this truck right now nasty red the 12 out cummins 2.0 model delmonica red paint look at it glisten in the sunlight there delmonica red paint first time i've ever seen it on a second gen kg14's wheels 22 by 12s 33 1250s paint match the grill chrome and black on the bumper to match the chrome and black on the mirror and the chrome and black with the well polished black with the kg1 forge wheels and the flatbed that was kind of my i don't know in my mind i was thinking chrome black chrome black like just just enough so it all kind of matched and then just enough delmonica red that matched where it kind of kind of made sense um but beautiful truck if you want to enter to win it right now lmpgear.com and what's actually super cool is right now when you place an order to win this truck you're also getting entered still to win that beautiful five-speed manual four-wheel drive dually 12 out cummins that's also four-wheel drive and comes with five thousand dollars in cash this truck is freaking gorgeous dually five-speed i mean i just told you everything but gorgeous truck super hard to find in this kind of shape it, it's just unbelievably clean super nice if you want to get under to win both those 30 times entries are live at lnpgear.com literally a hat like this a shirt like this anything you buy in the store could get you entered to win that truck not enter to win anything's going to get you entered to win it's going to get you entered to win this dually and that flatbed truck out there guys super clean super sweet trucks the only time of this entire giveaway that you can actually enter to win both of these trucks at the same time is right now and i believe it is the last day or the last 24 hours so don't pass this up because once the opportunity is gone it is gone okay you'll not have another chance to get dual entries on this dually plus nasty red so Hit that link, lmpgear.com. Grab some sweet merch, guys. This stuff is high quality, well fitted. It, it's, it's nice. It's a little more fitted up top. It's a little more loose down low. It's, it's a quality fitment. Okay, I know you guys know what I'm saying. It's a quality fitment. Doesn't make you look bad. It's high quality stuff. Hit the link. Check it out. Good luck. And I have not done any updates on the Coyote CS2210 here since I got it pretty much. I really haven't had much time to review it. I've got 15.5 hours on it now. It's been a nice little unit. I mean, we use it for some mowing around here. I still use a zero turn and 
have one of our hands around here do all the mowing and stuff, but I still use the tractor for my own use. Like when I'm gonna go maintain some trails back through the woods, back through the field there, I'll use the belly mower on this thing just cause, you know, it, it cuts honestly almost nicer than our zero turn, but um, I just prefer to use this versus a little zero turn just in case you get some wet spots and whatnot. This kind of tends to be able to get out of sticky situations a little bit easier. And not to mention it can go through a little bit heavier stuff and it can cut it down with ease compared to the zero turn because our zero turn's real small. And so it just, it doesn't manage real, real thick stuff very well, but this thing's done great. I also got to use the Land Pride tiller over here. And I don't know exactly how nice you can see this, but I did actually till up this, one of our food plots here closer to the house. And I'm gonna be throwing down some clover here and then come about last week of August, middle of August, maybe first week of September, after this is all nice and lush with clover, hopefully by then and mowed off once, um, we will be broadcasting in purple top turnips into this as well. The tractor did a really, really good job. I mean, this soil, I mean, it's a reverse time tiller, but like this soil turned out really nice. And then you can see my other clover plot I've got over here. And that was planted last fall and it's actually turned out really well. I mean, the clover's come in lush. It's almost honestly time to cut it down again. Um, but it's turned out really, really good. You can just see how much is growing in here and it's, it's very healthy, doing amazing. Uh, and I'm pretty pumped because our goal is actually to have a shooting shack right here. And you wouldn't think we'd have any action of being able to shoot a deer this close to the barn, but we we would. Um, they come right on through here sometimes. They'll be feeding around in this stuff because pretty much everything from this little dip and back, you don't realize how tall some of that brush is back there. It's all bedding. It's beautiful. And then the farm next door, I did talk to them. Actually, there's deer right there. You can see them right through there. There they are. There are four or five of them running across the field there. Like I said, there's no shortage of deer around here. And uh, the opportunity of being able to get, get them right here by the barn. Um, I, don't mind the, I don't mind the thought of that. So that's, that's the progress on that. Just wanted to give you an update on the tractor and how it works. It's, it's been absolutely great. We haven't had anything to complain with it. I mean, the wife's even used it a couple times now. So I mean, it's great. It works for hauling the manure out, doing small projects around the house. For what we need on our small farm, it just makes sense. So back to the wife's third gen here. So she is rocking some Laramie stocks. I believe they're 18s on some highway style tires, Firestones. And the tread on these is not phenomenal. However, our plan is to stick with this set of wheels and rock this setup, but just put new, like a new ag aggressive all train on there. Kind of like the Nitto Ridge Grappler with a Venom Power, but I'll probably go with something more like the Nitto for the wife's truck, just because she's gonna get more miles and more use out of her truck than, for example, my late grandfather's truck that I drive time to time. This is more of like, I mean, this is just kind of like a sentimental piece that I use as like a weekend toy, you know, like here and there, nice weather, but you know, for the most part, she's going to be using her truck a whole lot more, which is why she got a third gen instead of her second gen, because she wants to be able to just run it all the time. And anytime she needs a truck for truck stuff where she just wants to drive it and take the kids and not drive the other car, the CRV, as nice as the CRV is for just running around, sometimes you just, you just want to drive the truck, right? You just want to drive a truck. And she, you know, it was important for her to make sure that she could drive her truck anytime she wanted and she could fit the family fit the kids and she could just hop in and go and just drive it like she would any other vehicle and it would have the proper accommodations to be able to do that that being said she's thinking she's probably going to mostly stick to the stock laramie wheels that are on this thing with some more aggressive tires so that way she can have that little bit more meaty aggressive look but she wants to keep the functionality of the truck totally intact. But for the time being, I told her I wanted to run a test of what it would look like with some 20 by 12s and 33 by 12 and a half. Cause these are nasty Ritz tires. And if you can see like the tread wear indicators on these tires, they're not even gone. I mean, the tires still have like 70% tread, 6,000 miles on them, maybe 8,000 miles. I mean, when we had the truck, we put like 2,500 miles on it 
And then when Roger had the truck, he said he only put about 4,000 on it. So these wheels and tires are only about four or five years old and they really don't even have that many miles on it. So for the time being, I thought, you know what? I don't know if I'm gonna sell them for sure or not, but in the meantime, let's see what they look like on the white truck. So we're gonna hop on to getting this thing up, swapping out these wheels and tires, and I'll be back with you and we have a review. And this is why you don't work on a truck while you're sitting on the phone, not paying attention to what you're doing. I wasn't paying attention and I slid the jack into the truck and just started cranking on it. I'm like, why is this jack moving? The truck's not going up. And I completely freaking bent the steering stabilizer. Luckily, I think I've got one that'll work on it. It's here in the barn now, so we'll see how this goes. My goal is hopefully I can just pull that off and swap it out with this new one I got here and hopefully it'll work. <laughs> And like I said, I don't know if we're gonna keep this setup on this truck. I was kind of just planning on selling these wheels and tires because they still do have a lot of good tread on them. I mean, like I already showed you earlier, they probably got, you know, 60, 70% tread still. And I was just gonna plan on selling them since we put such a nice set on Nasty Red and it was not really in the plans for the wife to have a setup like this on her truck. I mean, it's up to her really more than anything else, but. I mean, it's up to her more than anything else, but I really, really like the look of this setup on this truck. There's another angle right there. I'm trying to stand in the garage here a little bit because the wind always just messes up my audio here. But man, thing looks so freaking good. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. 20 by 12s and 33 by 1250s were stocks and like 33 by 1250s on the 18 inch Laramie wheels. Let me know down in the comment section below. This is, again, this is, until further notice, considered a temporary setup. We haven't committed to it, but just wanted to see what it would look like. And, oh man, it looks really, really sharp. And I'll show you that steering stabilizer I put on down here. You can see that. And I even did as much as I vacuumed out the truck, took the mats out, I scrubbed the mats down. That one's a little more stained up than the rest. The back seat turned out a whole lot better and these mats came a whole lot cleaner other than the kid ran through the garage and jumped all over the mats. But for the most part, they came out super clean, vacuumed the seats off as well. Pretty clean overall. All I had planned for this video, guys, I just wanted to do a quick wheel and tire swap on the wife's truck, get a feel for a different uh configuration other than the stocks i just wanted to see what it would look like with just some 20 by 12s because this truck pretty sure it does have a set of leveling coils up on the front end uh, they don't look like factory and it also has fox shocks all the way around as well and it just kind of it just looks like it's leveled out because even the stocks just don't look right on it they look a little bit tucked in like a little awkward like the truck's leveled so i'm guessing it is these 33 by 1250s fit beautifully under the front end with no issues so I'm guessing it's got a leveling kit on it, so it can totally rock this setup. But do not forget, guys, if you want to get entered to win Nasty Red, the 12 out Cummins 2.0, yes, the one and only Nasty Red has a new refined version. Head on over to lmpgear.com and place an order right now. You can also get entered to win the beautiful 99,000 mile 5-speed 12 valve Cummins Dually. That truck is dang near flawless. You can get entered to win both of those at the same time only until May 21st 
at midnight, which I believe is either tonight or tomorrow. So, so keep an eye on the timer because time's almost up. So all you people that are last minute, this is your final warning from me here on YouTube before that giveaway comes to a complete close. Thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.